This is Curtis at Ace Per Head Studios coming back at you. Preseason's on the way, and we're gonna take a look at some Miami Dolphins preseason action. We're gonna focus on one player because really, in unfortunately, in the context of a lot of good that happened in that preseason game, there was one very bad note. We're gonna focus on that first, get it out of the way, and get to the good stuff. So I want to do a film study on Austin Jackson's day against the Bears. And the question is, how concerning is the film of Austin Jackson? So we're going to get into it quick, and you can judge for yourself if you didn't get a chance to focus on it. But uh, I did a video just recently about, there was a lot of talk about the Finns, Chris Greer, searching for a right tackle, basically a tackle, but everyone was assuming it was right tackle, a veteran at this late stage in the game. I said, it's no big deal, you know? Jesse Davis, I think, can handle it. Uh, getting a backup to work behind Jackson and Davis is smart. I don't think it's a big deal. I think that the other, you know, Eichenberg and Hunt, they were moved in tier, and I think that's the best. I still stand by that. But given the situation that happened today, and you know, it's still time, it's preseason, but let's break the tape down. I think it could be a little bit of a problem. Okay, so Davis and Hunt played well today. There was a couple of miscues, a little this or that, but the Bears are pretty aggressive up front, and I think they handled themselves very well. Solomon Kinley, though, and the, the left side was the main problem. Solomon Kinley, who's expected to be a backup, uh, just really struggled in the pa uh, in the run blocking game, and pass blocking was okay, it was okay, but he is not a starter, not at this stage, and he's just a really big liability in the run game, especially paired next to uh, Austin Jackson, who had a horrific day. And as you know, you can say, oh, it's only one day, but when you look at the tape, and I'm gonna we'll break it down. There's things in there that are not just a normal bad day. Okay, so um, let's go to the tape and show you first, and then I'll do a quick discussion after because it's pretty clear, okay? So let's go to the tape and check it out. I'm smiling, but I'm not really smiling inside here. Anyway, let's roll. Right out of the box, left tackle number 73, Austin Jackson struggled and it was a day long thing in both the pass and the run game. You can see right here, he just gets beat to the outside. Look at his bad stance right here. His feet now out of balance and he really just gets victimized. And this is a main reason why this pass was incomplete. Then again, you can see him here getting blown up, just driven back, even needs help. And you could, it's just a lack of strength. Look at that poor technique. The legs spread out and sprawled out wide. Just has no base. So it's not just fundamental strength, it's also technique. This is, this is a two-pronged problem and he's just, it, all day long it was exposed. You can see in a run game, you're supposed to come down the line and cut and he just gets left on the ground. Nothing, nothing. Again here, he's a critical block, comes in and he doesn't do anything. He's just standing there. That's a, that's a, that's a safety, a linebacker, I think, that he can't move with the double. He's just too passive. He's just standing there. Again, he comes out and just, bit, he just gets beat to the outside and has poor feet and technique. And then he has to get the hold. There was nothing right about that play. At this stage, his technique has to be, it should be much, much better. I don't know if he's injured. I don't know what the situation is, but that is ugly looking technique. He's supposed to have the agility to get outside and handle at least the speed. And it's just not, that's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Again, he gets set up. His feet are so wide. Look at that punch. I mean, that is such poor technique. How his stance, his feet, everything's off balance. 
If that play had gone on long, you'd have been destroyed. Just very poor technique. Again here, look, everyone's got the block and one guy gets through and it's Jackson's guy again. He's on the ground beat. And just this is the very next play where he gets destroyed again. Poor technique and no power. I just, this is worse than last year. As I'm watching the tape, it's very, very concerning. <laughs> Again, sets up in his pass set. Look how wide his feet are. It's just, he has very, look at this, he's getting folded up. That's poor technique and no real strength. And now look at this, he gets thrown into to his knees. This could, this could change the franchise with this poor blocking. It's very dangerous. Look again, gets the double and he can't even handle it. They, that's him and Kinley. They can't even handle the double. Again, sets up the run game. Look at this, whiff. This is a second year play that you took 18th overall. Again, he sets up here and look at this. He, it's so weird, watch his he body control. He's just folding up over really nothing. I don't understand this. This is so bizarre. Look at how ugly that looks. Nothing's going on. So here he gets the double on the edge. He's got leverage and just he just gets dominated. Look, blows right past him. Blows right past him. He needs help from the tight end. And he's gonna keep going. There's something's very wrong here. Something is very, very wrong. I'm sorry to be this negative, but I'm, I'm, I'm watching it now as I'm getting worse. Watch this. Look at his feet. Look at this, how wide his feet are. It just gets dumped head down. This is stuff you don't see from, from a player with that kind of pedigree in his second season. I keep saying it over and over again. This is terrible. I feel awful. All right here, look. Look at this. Just totally manhandled and dominated. Again, he picks up the, the, the double and he's barely, even with the double they can't, and the, the play breaks down because him and Kinley can't even handle the play with the double. Exasperated, this is, this is very concerning. I mean, anything can happen at this point. I mean, you know, watching the tape, you know, next week maybe, I don't know. Has anybody else seen anything like this before? He's got to be injured. Watch this. Boom. Just totally dumped. Just driven back. That play, the quarterback's getting jostled because of that. That's like a, a guy who's like 40, 50 pounds lighter than him, too, on top of that. Watch this. He gets the chip help. He gets the chip help, but he's holding him. And he's getting driven back. And again, another play, more chip help, gets the spin, loses his footing, and he can't even maintain that. This is bad. This is abysmal. Watch, just totally driven back. Look at this. All right, you got to see the tape. And it was bad from, as I said, all the reasons inside. And the reality is his technique hasn't improved. His strength hasn't improved. And it, maybe it has a little bit, but you could see in that that the defenders now have a scorecard on Austin Jackson. They're not wasting their time with a lot of fancy moves. They're just coming in and using a lot of power for most cases. And now that he's got a bullseye on his weakness, he's going to have to deal with it all season. And I don't see how his strength can improve at this point because you're playing games, you're getting hurt, you're working out. You can't really focus on strength. That's off-season stuff. And maybe the technique can improve because it was technique issues. But it seems like there's just a lot there. I have not seen a first-round draft pick in his second year get that exposed and have that rough of a day. Now, anything's possible, we need more tape. You know, you can't really just make a judgment on that, but they would play if the play, if they play the same thing getting exposed. So is this is very concerning. Now, for the long-term prognosis of Austin Jackson, the mitigating factors are he played a little in college. He, you know, he, he 
helped his sister out with the medical procedure, stem cells, and that threw off his college career, which limited his development. He is still young. So I still believe the future is bright, but the problem is how long in the future will that be? Is it gonna be next year or the year after that? It, I just don't, anything's possible, but at this stage, correcting that kind of core issues is very, very rare. I'm hope I hope it's I hope this is a miracle case here. So another concerning thing for our Finns is the Bills, the Jets, and the Pats all have physical ends, and all of them are going to actually provide, aside from Khalil Mack, more of a challenge for Austin Jackson. So this is a key. This is I mean it's not the end of the world, and the preseason game had a lot of good things to it. We're going to get into that next. You know, I thought Tua showed a lot, I had a lot of improvement. He yeah, was the bad pick at the end, but we can go through all that. I'm going to do a little study on that one as well. I thought uh, Mike Isecki, they might be making a mistake waiting this long to sign him because he, it looks like he's coming out on fire, like doing a big deal. And with, with, uh, with Hunter getting injured, you know, you're rolling a dice on what looks like a really good play that might end up walking or you might have to overpay. Smythe looked good. Like I said, Dita looked pretty good inside. I was expecting him to get exposed. I, I thought it was gonna be, but he looked pretty good. They set him up well. I said the right side of the line looked good. There was some good looks on the defense, a lot of good looks on the defense, a lot of good looks on the receivers. But this is a serious, serious problem. So anyway, this is Curtis. Let's hope this is, Corrected and it's not a big deal. Um, fingers crossed. Next two games going to be a very, 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 very interesting watch for Austin Jackson. So this is Curtis. I wish I had better news on this spot, but there is other good news. So I, I always, I always say I'm going to try to tell you the truth, even if it's not fun. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comments mean the most. I like to hear the comments and. Uh, Again, a shout out to our sponsors, Ace Per Head. There's no time like now to get in on the action. So use their world-class software to take advantage of all the action that's going on. They're the, they're the best company and the best sponsors. Anyway, this is Curtis. Thank you for coming. I'll have more positive stuff next time. Uh, be well and see you soon.